Let me bring in Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont tonight. Senator, um, you know, when does it uh, catch the attention of deniers when the water is not safe to drink? Toledo, Ohio, 400,000 people. Uh, I haven't heard anything like this in, in the past. We see the impacts of climate change damaging our nation every day. Uh, and yet the sense of urgency just isn't there. I, I want your take on what's no, unfolding here and also what's going on in Vermont. Okay, Ed, I, I think the point you make is well taken. Uh, this country faces a lot of crises. One of the areas that we have not focused on enough is the situation regarding water. And it's not just Toledo and it's not just Vermont. It is lakes uh, all over the country that are being overrun by algae because of phosphorus runoff. And what we have is a situation in states and in Washington where the Republican Party basically says freedom, freedom is about allowing polluters to destroy our air, our land, and in this case, our water. And I think that is pretty crazy. Common sense suggests that we've got to do everything that we can to protect clean drinking water in this country. And as you've indicated, climate change and global warming is making a bad situation even worse. On top of all of that, many of us recognize that we need massive investments in infrastructure in America. And most people think, well, infrastructure are roads and bridges and rail. Yes, it is. But it is also water plants and wastewater systems. The truth is that for a small city or a town or a state government, building the kind of quality wastewater plants that we need so that water, so that runoff, getting into the water is clean, is an expensive proposition. In my view, the government has got to be very aggressive in Washington in making sure we rebuild our crumbling infrastructure, and that certainly includes wastewater plants and water systems. Well, uh, you know, water treatment plants are not cheap. I mean, when you talk about infrastructure, to, to, if, if, you're, if you're going to have this and you're going, if you're going to allow this kind of runoff, you're going to have to make some compensation for it on the other side with water treatment plants, which are uh, very extensive in their construction and, and in their price. So uh, what's the answer here, uh, Senator? Or do we need well, to look at more regulations on things like phosphates? Well, of course we do. I mean, I have to, we have to work with agriculture. And here in Vermont, we are working very hard with farmers to significantly reduce the amount of phosphorus getting into our lake. But I can tell you, Ed, I was mayor of Burlington, Vermont in the early 80s, and we built, we uh, constructed uh, one of the major environmental projects in the history of the state of Vermont, and that is building a new um, source separation project. It was very, very expensive, but we had help from the federal government, and the federal government cannot continue to turn its back on the needs of cities and towns all over this country with Republicans saying, no, we don't want to invest in infrastructure. The direct result will be more and more situations where the water we drink will be polluted, uh, where you'll have huge amounts of leakage of clean water causing all kinds of problems in cities and towns all over America. So if we invest mm -hmm. in infrastructure, we get clean water, if we make sure that we have sufficient regulation, we can control the amount of phosphorus getting into our lakes and rivers. All right. Senator Sanders, finally, a quick reaction from you on China, saying that they want to ban the use of all coal in their country by the year 2020. Are they serious about it? Well, I certainly hope so, because China is the major carbon polluter in the world. Uh, and they are now poisoning hundreds of thousands of people who are dying unnecessarily in China. So this is an important step forward. But the bottom line here, Ed, to my mind, is we as a planet have got to understand that climate change is real. It is already causing devastating problems. We have to move aggressively toward energy efficiency and such sustainable energies as wind, solar, geothermal, and biomass. And when we do that, we not only transform our energy system, help save the planet. You know what else we do? We create a whole lot of jobs. So that has got to be something way up there on the priority list. Senator Bernie Sanders, independent from Vermont, good to have you with us tonight, sir. I appreciate your time. We will continue to follow the story in Toledo, Ohio, and around the country. Remember to answer tonight's question there at the bottom of the screen. Share your thoughts with us.